What's up? In today's Ask Eric Wong MMA, I'm going to talk about recovery from workouts and give you five tips to speed up your recovery. What's up my peeps, Eric Wong here, ericwongmma.com and I'm back to Q&A Fridays with Ask Eric Wong MMA. And today's question I got from Miguel Fernandez, he's a 43 year old guy, he's doing some workouts and he basically asked me how can I recover faster from my workouts. Well that's a great question because the faster that you can recover, the better you can train, the more you can train and the more you get out of your, your workouts. So there's one factor before we get into the the five tips here, there's one factor that you've got to take into consideration that kind of trumps everything else that I'm going to talk about, and that is effective program design. If you're not following a, a proper program with correct and sane amounts of load, volume, sets, reps, uh, rest periods when, you, when they're necessary and when they're optimal, then no matter what you do, if you do all five of these tips perfectly, you're not going to be able to recover from your workout. So the biggest key is to find a good workout and find a good blueprint to follow that's going to allow you to make gains but also recover. Because if you're just working out for the sake of working out and you're not tracking anything, you're not measuring your strength, your power, or endurance or whatever it is, then you're going to get into the, the game where you're just beating yourself down every time, trying to add load, add volume, and that's all you do. Um, and that's going to leave you sore and fatigued and drained all the time. So if you want to find out my blueprint on how I train my fighters, guys who are training often and have to do strength and conditioning on top of MMA training, Jiu Jitsu, boxing, Muay Thai, whatever it is, then go to my website at www.ultimatemmastrength.com and sign up for my free video series where I'm talking about how to integrate strength cardio, endurance, power endurance, and how to put it all together with periodization so that you consistently make gains but you don't kill yourself in the process. Now, let's say that you are following a good workout like my, my blueprint there and you want to just do everything that you can to maximize your recovery. Well, let's go through that now. There's five key tips that I think can really help you to get faster recovery from your workouts. Now number one, it's not the, the sexiest one, but sleep. If you're not sleeping at a regular time um, for a proper amount, anywhere from six to eight hours, somewhere in that range depending on, on, your, on who you are, is a good amount of time to sleep. But what's more important is consistency. So going to bed at the same range every day, whether it be 10 p.m. or 12 p.m., as long as you're consistent, your body gets into a natural rhythm and your hormones can help you to recover here. That's when you recover from workouts is when you're sleeping, not when you're working out. Okay? So sleep, that's key. Another thing that you can do with sleep is make sure that your, your room is dark. I was just talking about this with my wife yesterday back in prehistoric times when the sun hit your skin, it was time to wake up. Well, the same kind of thing happens with artificial lights, street lights, whatever it is. So make sure that your room is as dark as possible and that'll help you get a better sleep and better recovery from workouts. Now, next up, you probably know this one's coming. Come on. Nutrition. What you eat affects how you recover. You've got to have good, whole, natural foods. You've got to eat protein, fats carbohydrates, you need your vitamins, your minerals, your phytonutrients, all that stuff. Lots of veggies, tons of veggies, eat some fruit, eat some good quality meat, some good fats, and if you can tolerate it depending on your, your metabolism or what your goals are, your carbohydrate intake, do that, you're good to go. I mean, there's so much coming out now with respect to fasting, um, guys going totally against the grain of the old school mentality of eating five or six meal, smaller meals a day um, and getting good results. I've been experimenting with fasting myself. Uh, Brad Pilon's fasting, I guess, strategy of eating 
or you're going 24 hours without eating. So from dinner to dinner the next day, do that once or twice a week. I've experimented with that. For me personally, that doesn't work as well because I feel like I'm getting super hungry at 2 or 3 p.m. for the most part. And it's, it's lowering my energy levels for workouts in the, the middle of the day. Uh, there's other approaches. I think uh, Jason Fruger just came out with something called the Renegade Diet where he recommends you don't eat anything until 12 or 1 and then eat lightly until about 7 where at 7 o'clock you kind of go crazy and eat pretty much whatever you want in terms of good foods but as much as you want. I've been experimenting with that. It seems to work okay. So my recommendation to you is to try something, test it out and see how it feels for your body. I tested it out for a good couple of weeks, and if it works good, great, keep, keep with it. Um, I also think variety is good, and your metabolism likes to be messed around with a little bit, just like with workouts. So test some different things out, see what works for your body, and make sure you're eating. The most important thing is make sure you're eating good quality foods, whole foods, natural foods. Okay, now let's get into some of the little tweaks that you can do. Now one right after you're working out is pen is dying there. That says SMR, self myofascial release. Now I recently did a video on this where I did, I called it cryo SMR because I was using a cold water bottle, nice cold water bottle to massage my muscles after a workout. And this is all based on a study out of McMaster University, I think it was done this year in 2012, where they showed that massage after workouts helps to recover, helps you to recover faster because it decreases inflammation and it also upregulates the production of mitochondria in your muscle. It doesn't flush the lactic acid from the system, which is a, a common belief. It works through the other two mechanisms. So massage after workout, going to a massage would be great, but doing self myofascial release or just rolling around, don't even call it self myofascial release, just rolling around on a foam roller is gonna help you to massage those muscles and to decrease inflammation and increase mitochondria to help you recover faster. Now, another thing you can do on this, uh, the same kind of idea is something called a contrast shower. So a contrast shower is basically when you take your shower after your workout to get the stink off, then you just alternate between hot and cold. So you can go about 30 seconds to a minute hot and then 30 seconds to a minute cold and just alternate that a few times, maybe four or five times when you're showering. And that's gonna basically help you to pump blood through your, your body. Because what happens is the blood vessels constrict when you get cold and your skin gets cold, so your body wants to bring blood flow to your skin and upregulate the blood flow through your, your vascular system. That's, and then when you go hot, it's gonna dilate everything. Your, your body's gonna to wanna to cool down the skin, actually and it's going to just alternate between those two things blood flow in blood flow out blood flow in blood flow out help to increase circulation help to increase your recovery that way by flushing the metabolites from your workout out of your body as quickly as possible now last thing post-workout nutrition and that is your recovery shake or your recovery meal so basically, I've talked about this before in my previous videos, but you want anywhere from 20 to 30 grams of protein would be good, and anywhere from 40 to 60 grams of carbs, depending on what your goals are. If your goal is muscle gain, then you have a little bit more. If your goal is fat loss, you have a little bit less. Getting that stuff in as soon as possible after a workout is important. And I've got a couple, I had a couple questions as well from other guys on my Ask Eric Wong MMA website there, where they asked me about the type of protein after. To be honest, in terms of protein shakes, it's not a big deal. Um, if you do, as long as you're getting some protein in, you're good to go. Whether it's whey protein concentrate, isolate, micellar casein, whatever, it's not gonna make a huge difference in the protein that's getting into your muscle. One thing that I do recommend is changing up your brand. And the reason why I recommend that is because if you do the same brand all the time, over and over, your body can get intolerant to it and your digestive system gets upset. And if you're not digesting properly, you're not gonna absorb anything. So just to make sure that you don't develop a food intolerance to the same brand and manufacturing process, switch up your brand every time you buy a tub. 
okay? So those are my five tips to faster recovery. Again, if you want to ask me a question, visit my website at www.ericwongmma.com forward slash ask. Post your question there. I'll scan through them and sometimes I'll write an answer right on, the, on your question if it's quick or sometimes I'll do a video post just like I did today. Okay guys, thanks a lot for checking out my video. Make sure you subscribe up above. Hit like if you like this and you want more like it and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.